Hey guys, this is Tyler Zombro with Tread Athletics, and today I wanted to talk about sliders and their respective inflection points. So when looking at sliders, uh, I think something we've touched on in prior videos is kind of the fascination with sweep in today's games, but we know sliders come in all shapes and sizes. So looking through these inflection points, uh, some interesting points here where I think we can kind of debate a little bit about where to give and take with this pitch and see how it really projects performance wise. So first category we want to start with is velocity. So looking at velocity, um, this is something that I always try to keep in the back of my mind when looking at an athlete because again, we know that efficiency to velocity trade-off. And with sweep being so popular, if you're gonna generate more efficient side spin, you might lose a little bit of velocity. So looking at the velocity graph, Again, blue representing WOBA, we wanna see that below average. Red being whiff rate, we'd like to see that above average. You can see at 85 miles an hour, there is a pretty significant return with whiff rate going up and WOBA going down. Now, with sweepers specifically, we know that it's really hard to keep velocity high. So we're really trying to make sure we manage that trade-off appropriately. Looking at vertical break, Overall, it stabilizes on the line a decent amount, but you do see whiff rate really get low if you're not getting less than eight to 10 inches um, of break. Basically meaning we need to make sure we still have depth on the pitch in order to get any whiffs to it. Again, whether we're sweeping that pitch at 20 inches, whether it's more gyro towards, you know, maybe negative five even to zero, we wanna make sure that we're killing backspin on it Otherwise, the whiff rate is gonna go down and that WOBA is gonna be above average. So horizontal break, uh, this is where we really get into the sweeper conversation. You can see that once you get past negative 15, whiff rate is up and WOBA is down. That makes sense as a trade-off. Uh, you can see here on the far right side that sliders that are not getting glove side movement that are backing up have a low whiff rate and have high WOBA. So getting more sweep makes sense. We can see that return here. Uh, with this inflection point. But again, we wanna make sure that while we're committing to one variable, we're not sacrificing a ton in the other. So I think something that we've seen a lot of success with is saying, hey, let's get past negative 12, negative 13, but let's not let that velocity get below X. Uh, and being able to set those parameters does really give, it gives you a good picture of where the guy can take the pitch at the end of the day. So whether you're throwing a sweeper, or whether you're throwing a gyro slider, there are a lot of trade-offs that you can look at in here because I think oftentimes you can probably throw the pitch a little bit harder than what you think. Again, you don't wanna sacrifice a ton of velocity for movement. So finding that middle ground trade-off, super important. Uh, it doesn't always have to be one or the other. Looking at vertical approach angle, this data is gonna be skewed. You're gonna see this with pretty much all off-speed pitches just because the steeper the vertical approach angle, the pitch is probably thrown in the dirt, which of course leads to more chases. Goes without saying, pretty common sense. If you want swings and misses on off-speed pitches, you throw them in a good spot, you're gonna get a return. So something we touched on in a prior video is the deceptive qualities of pitches and the importance of where you throw them and how it perceives to a hitter. And that's highlighted here as well. So even if your pitch might grade out average across the board, you're throwing in good spots, still could have a ton of success with that. So that's a little bit of the overview with sliders. You know, it's a lot of information, uh, a lot of areas where you can look to give and take for this pitch. Um, but again, it's just informed decisions that we wanna make to ultimately maximize how our pitch is profiling in the game. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.